Travis County deputies chased after a suspect early this morning and it ended with shots fired and right now one man is in the hospital. A car chase shut down part of Military Road and Pacific Avenue south in Spanaway for much of the morning commute. As Cairo 7's Rob Munoz reports, deputies gave him several chances to give up. Now, with this sequence of events, it almost seems improbable no one got hurt. The suspect's car actually flipped over. This is the debris that spilled out from over there. The deputies tell us this started with a chase. The suspect's flipped over car and span away was the end of a chain of events that Pierce County deputies tell us didn't have to happen this morning. He's a lucky guy. Uh, this could have turned out a lot worse for him all because of his actions. Deputies tell us at 3 in the morning they noticed the same car driving recklessly. And despite lights and sirens, the suspect sped up, leading that deputy to use the pit, bumping and sliding him to a stop. It's quite possible because of the 26 year old driver's felony warrants, deputies say he wasn't going to give up. We were able to get the vehicle stopped and turned around over here. Unfortunately, the driver decided to drive back at our deputy. That's when the deputy fired several shots at the driver, and that's when he swerved around this corner, hitting a guide wire and flipping his car. Even then, the suspect didn't stop. Driver got out of the vehicle and ran on foot. We brought a canine team in, and the canine team caught him hiding about two or three blocks away. The 26 year old was taken to the hospital for dog bite wounds. The incident shut down Military Road near Pacific for hours during the morning rush. Surprisingly, no one this morning was seriously hurt. And that deputy who fired the shots will be placed on leave, and we're told this suspect who will be released from the hospital eventually will be booked into the Pierce County Jail. In Spanaway, I'm Rob Munoz, Curry 7 News.